Hey everybody, welcome back to Mega Man at Maverick Hunter X, Episode 3. This is Accelerator here. And, uh, yeah, I've been away for a while. I apologize, my bad. Huh. Anyway, it's been a while since I've recorded anything, too. In fact, I recorded this footage a long time ago. So, I'm not sure why I'm using Firewave here, actually. It's been so long since I recorded it. Um, I guess, I guess I was just showing it off. It had, yeah, it has kind of limited range. That's the only thing, that's the only thing I don't really like about it. Another thing I should say that I didn't know until more recently is that this is actually not an exact remake of uh, Mega Man X1 on the Super Nintendo. So, I don't know why my PSP kept doing that. I, I don't, I don't even know if it still does it because I haven't really used it in so long. So anyway, up there is an extra life. You got to dash jump to get it. If I, if I, I didn't mention it before, but dashing does actually increase the length of your jump. So yeah, there's that. Those spike things are really annoying, as well as these bats. I get hit a lot by them. <sighs> yeah, you can use the foot parts to bust those blocks, and we get a Dr. Light capsule again. The head parts are you within this capsule. Equip the parts you found inside here, and you will gain the ability to smash blocks with your head. I'm counting on you, X. You are humanity's last hope. So yeah, apparently we're humanity's last hope. Ugh. So anyway, most people go for this level first. Honestly, I don't know why. Storm Eagle's so easy to use your Mega Buster, your, or actually, excuse me, your X Buster on. Um, yeah, uh, Storm Eagle's so easy to use your Mega Buster on. Honestly, easier than Chill Penguin. Chill Penguin's, all the bosses in this game, in fact, are actually ridiculously easy if you have their weakness. I'm sorry my PSP keeps doing that, I cannot seem to, I have no idea exactly why it does that, so, hopefully it doesn't do it anymore in future recordings. So, yeah. I've been watching a lot of videos of other X games recently, in fact, how awful, apparent, how supposedly awful X6 is because of its random stuff. Most of you might, some of, some of you may know what that means, others not. I, mean, I don't know for sure. But. Uh, let's see, I forget, is it there you want to go up? Uh, let's find out. Yes, it is. Okay, so you, you gotta have uh, Fire Wave to do this. You bust that open, and there's a heart tank. And there's nothing in this one. I'm honestly not sure why I'm blowing it up. Uh, that sound was my sub tank filling up. In case you've forgotten what a sub tank is, I uh, know I probably would have if I hadn't if I had never played this game and was watching a walkthrough on it that hadn't been uploaded in several months. Yeah, again, I'm sorry about that. So now we're gonna face the big bad chill penguin himself. Obviously, fire wave is his weakness. I don't know why you would think otherwise, but I'm actually running out. Oh, you know what? I forgot I died to this boss. I completely forgot. I am so sorry. Oh well. It starts you out like right next to the boss door, so... No, the hallway to the boss. So yeah, I, th I remember, I do actually die in this fight, so... Whoops. Yeah, see, Fire Wave, like, stuns him. Unfortunately, the, uh, hit stun, I guess, his, his own invincibility frames last too long, and he's, he's able to make his next move before you can attack him. I'm not sure why I didn't move there. I think I actually expected him to, uh... I think I actually expected him to uh, jump right next to me. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
Anyway. So yeah. Fire wave is his weakness. Again, I've probably said that for about, what, the third time? The only other thing I don't like about Fire Wave is that it uses up a lot of ammo. Uh, there's one attack he'll use, he'll see if he uses later. Not that one. This is one attack he always likes to use on me that I can never figure out how to dodge. Let's see, will he use it? That attack right there. When the ice shards hit the wall, they blast off into other several other ice shards. They all—I can never dodge that. I think I even know how to dodge it, but I could never dodge it. I think you have to like get right up next to that wall. And I think that might dodge it, but I mean the thing is, I can never react fast enough to get over there. Which is why this guy is not my recommendation for the first boss if you're playing on a hard mode. He does not do that if you're playing on easy mode, by the way. Or no, it's normal and hard, my bad, yeah. He doesn't do it if you're playing on hard mode. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Next we are going to Spark Mandrill stage. Oh, no, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. Now that we have the head parts, we can get something in New Type Airport. My bad, my bad. Yeah, that was way my bad. I'm sorry about that. Uh, anyway. What do we have to hear? Uh. Why am I saying that? <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of lost right now. Um. I'm trying to think of things to say. I, I don't. I never really played classic Mega Man very often. I have Mega Man. I have the iPod version of Mega Man 2. But, uh, other than that, I don't really have any. Other than that, I haven't even beaten that yet. So, yeah. Um, I have, uh, recently managed to beat Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Just, you know, trying to make some conversation while we're not doing anything here. Um, uh, it with, yeah, I got all seven Chaos Emeralds and beat the game for the first time. Like, yeah, believe it or not, it was recently, despite how long the game's been out. Unfortunately, I have it for the Wii, so I can't get, um, I mean, I technically I could get Episode 2 on my iPod, but I don't want to. I could get it on my computer, too, but my computer doesn't have the graphic capabilities to run it yet. Although, I'm, I do have a job now, so I can probably... Some sometime soon buy a new graphics card. So uh, anyway, I should I should have stopped talking there. We get the body parts here, half damage. And that's about it. See, so X is looking pretty uh pretty awesome, isn't he? So yeah, I can't really do anything to show it off effectively. But anyway, so that's it for that level. Uh, next, we are going back to the prototype weapons plant. Uh, now that you've, once you clear uh, Chill Penguin stage, um, all the lava will be frozen. And uh, so now there's a heart tank that we can get to now that the lava's frozen. So, yeah. You'll throughout the course of the game, you get, I think, is it eight heart tanks and four sub tanks? Yeah, yeah, it's eight heart tanks and four sub tanks. So, long story short, there's one heart tank in every level. And then, uh, also, there are four levels that have Dr. Light capsules. And four, well, no, three, three levels that contain sub tanks, three levels that contain Dr. Light capsules, and one level that contain, one level that contains both, and one level that contains neither. So yeah, there was the heart tank. Now we're gonna take on Spark Mandrel. If he looks stupid now, why do you hear his voice? Oh, jeez. So, uh, anyway. 
This is another one of those issues where clearing one Maverick stage first makes some happen in another one. If you had not clear, if you have, uh, if you had not cleared Storm Eagle stage yet, then the lights will not be flickering on and off. Honestly, it's kind of annoying because I can't tell where there's a gaping bottomless pit. Uh, there's a sub tank we can get in the area we just passed, but we need it's behind a wall that we can't get to yet. So there's uh, you know there's another there's another power we need to get before we can possibly achieve that. So yeah. Uh, anyway, storm tornado is so overpowered. I'm sorry, it's so overpowered. And there's this mini boss that I really kind of hate because it's just weird boring and tedious to me I mean I don't know it barely attacks you so I mean it just seems pointless I don't know if it has like a weakness or anything I don't really care I just use storm tornado on everything pretty much except for the Mavericks so yeah uh, not really have that much to talk about right now what is it what is it doing when it goes up to the top of the stage and like plugs itself in? Is it is it getting is it recharging its health? I don't know I don't know exactly what it's doing there. I don't know what its weakness is either. Might actually be shotgun ice. That's this Mavericks. That's a uh, Spark Mandrill's weakness. He's so weak to it, it makes him ridiculously easy. You'll see later. Ah, uh, using my sub tank. Uh, are there enough turrets here? Did you put enough turrets here, Capcom? Ah, uh, brain scratch made that joke. I can't. I can't make it. I can't do. I. I can't do that effectively. Yeah, um... Turtle thing... Uh, it... Storm Tornado is just beast. Oh yeah, and those Crescent Moon things we saw earlier. Those things are so annoying, I can never react to them fast enough, and I get hit by them almost every freaking time. Uh, there is a actually a sub there's a sub tank and heart tank in this level. Obviously, there's a heart tank in every level. Um, more crescent moons that are really annoying. It's a good thing I chose to stop there because there was a bottomless pit that I would have died to. Um, I hate these crescent moons. Jeez, why must they be so annoying? So yeah, shotgun ice is this guy's weakness. And he has the, I swear, I think he's like retarded or something. Just, just listen to his voice. Let's get started. X, you showed up. Spark Mandrill, do us both a favor and surrender peacefully. I don't think so, X. Oppose me and I'll crush you. Sounds like you've gone maverick. Your time has come, Spark Mandrill. I'm not the smartest guy around, X, but I have a feeling that Sigma is right. Yeah, he sounds really stupid. Just wait till you watch this. If you have shotgun eyes, you have no excuse to lose to this guy. Dog, shut up, please. I don't know if you can hear it, but my dog started growling in the background. You probably can't hear it, honestly. Mission accomplished. Anyway, you have no... If you have shotgun ice, you have no excuse to... No excuse? Jeez, grammar. Uh, no excuse to lose to that guy. Guy. And for him, with this guy, we get electric spark. It's pretty slow moving, but when it hits a wall, it will disperse into two different shots that go really fast along the wall so I mean you know it's pretty cool 